Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, The Key Is Me, and I am back again with another video. In this video, I am going to be showing you how I made this gorgeous, gorgeous braidless crochet wig. Yes, ladies, so you don't even have to braid your hair down. Not only do you not have to braid your hair down, but you can take this bad boy on and off. So whenever you feel like pulling her out and you want to give this big curl look, you can do that and then take it off by the end of the night. That's one thing that I am loving, loving, loving about an actual crochet wig. Before we get into this video, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button in the bottom of this video as well as the notification bell so that you'll know when I upload my next video. Also, let me know down in the comment section any other videos that you would like for me to do, any uh, get to know me videos, or well, I actually just recorded a get to know me video, but if you would like any girl talk videos on any particular subject as well as follow my Instagram. So I did find this actual wig cap and the wig cap is constructed as a it's constructed as a wig cap but it's actually a crochet wig cap wig cap so it gives you the combs that you would get in an actual cap and so it has two combs on the side and one comb in the back and it also gives you the weaving net so that you can go ahead and you can weave the actual crochet needle through the actual cap. Isn't that so cool? I love the way that that company created that. I believe this was by Shake and Go and I got it from samsbeauty.com. This is not a sponsored video, so Sam's Beauty, you owe me. Anyways, so I um, went ahead and I'm going to insert the clips in and show you how I actually made this wig. I did use two packs of the Caribbean, I think it's Afro, natural caribbean to a water wave bohemian curl actually it is the 4a bohemian curl excuse me so it's the 4a bohemian curl water wave and it's in the 10 inch and inside of each pack they give you two in one so instead of actually having four packs individual packs there's two in one pack so I did just use two of the big packs this hair is extremely soft as you can see when I constructed the wig it kind of gave me um, the look that I have now all I did was take my scissors and form my bang as well as cut off the excess on each end of the hair I did not split the hair so as you can see when you open up when you open up the pack, the hair comes in like little individual pieces and I use each individual piece and I weave them through the actual crochet cap and this is the look that I got. I am loving her, loving, loving, loving it. I really didn't have to do anything to my hair underneath, to be honest. All I had to do was push it back in a ponytail. I put an actual regular um, wig cap on top of my head. You can use black. If you would like um, or you can use like a regular brown scalp color I think I use a regular brown scalp color but you can use black as well because as you can see there are some pieces in the um, you're not going to crochet the hair completely all the way to inch by inch together so it will be some spaces in between the wig but the hair actually cover up those spaces so it just depends on you and what you want to do also i did not put anything on this hair i wanted to put some mousse on the hair but considering the fact that the hair is so soft i did not want to mess with the curls honestly ladies if you are not big hair friendly and you don't like frizz this hair would not be for you the hair opening out of the pack was already frizzy that's just the texture of the hair that's just the way that it was made so um i know i get a lot of questions of how do you tame the frizz honestly i don't think that this hair was made to tame the frizz i think it was created to give you that va va voom um frizzy natural curly look so i don't I didn't go ahead and put anything on the hair i'm not trying to manipulate the curls i'm not trying to make the curls less big than what they already are i am embracing the weight that the hair is and that was the reason why i purchased it so i it's just up to you honestly this is my first time making a wig a crochet wig so i'm actually pretty excited to see how long it's going to last i'm going to i usually store all of my wigs um 
I usually store all of my wigs, so I'm going to store it in a very secure location to make sure that it doesn't mat and it doesn't tangle. So I'll definitely be coming and giving you all an update on this hair. The cap fits extremely snug. Honestly, I did not even have to use the combs because... It just fit really snug on my head. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And I'm hoping that the elastic in the actual band of the cap doesn't stretch out too much. Because I do have a big head and this is one size fit all. So we're going to see. We're going to see. Now we can get into the making of the actual crochet wig. So again, I'm just showing you the crochet cap. Um... This is the hair, again I'm showing you the hair that I'm going to be using, which is the 4A Bohemian um, Afro Natural Caribbean Curl. This is the hair straight out of the pack, like I was explaining before, I did not separate the hair. You're going to crochet the hair just like you would crochet inside of your natural crochet braids. The only difference is with here, you're going to space them out a lot. Definitely make sure you space them out because if not, you're going to run out of hair if you're using the same amount that I'm using. I'd be lying to you if I said that I was using a pattern. To be honest, I was watching Netflix and I wasn't really paying attention. I was just eyeballing it. So just eyeball it and do it to your liking. I wouldn't put too much in the back because it will get extremely full. Again, it just depends on the look you're going for. Then after the wig was complete, I'm going to show you here. This is what the wig looks like when it's finished. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my head. Please excuse my edges. Try not to put so much product on them when I don't have to. So for right now, oil and leave-in conditioner will have to do. So this is the wig. I went ahead and stretched it out, ran my hands through it just a little bit and fluffed it out to my liking. And then I also took some scissors and framed it around my face and of course cut my bangs.
go for this look i believe that four packs will i believe that two packs will get you the, a full look if you would like it fuller you can go fuller if you would like it to be thinner you can do that as well but this is the look that i was going for and i absolutely love it i love it i love it i love it so I'm going to put all of the information down in the description box. If you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.